I'm Rick, and I'm building the Terminator. This is a new design to me, and there's been a bit of adaptive management involved. I'm at the stage where I'm about to fit my second attempt at rollers into my second attempt in the stock. I want this gun to have a lot of rubbers. If it has a lot of rubbers, it needs a lot of surface area on the outside of the stock for those rubbers to sit. I had to make a stock with a much larger surface area to fit what I wanted, and that's why I had a second stock. You can see the two stocks side by side. The one with tapers is the new one. About half of the rubbers will be underneath the stock, and they'll need vertical rollers or vertical sheaves that go up and down through the, uh, from the bottom to the top of the stock. You can see where I've cut slots for the sheaves. Because my new stock was thicker from top to bottom, I had to make some new rollers that would fit, would be appropriate. I turned them up on a wood lathe, and I discovered that uh, there's still a little bit I've got to learn about uh, doing a wood lathe, and uh, a little bit I've got to learn about how to make them really neat. The, uh, the holes are not exactly on centre, and the width is not exactly right. But I think it's good enough. I think it'll do the job, fit for purpose. I've got ideas on how to do them better next time, of course. When I cut the, uh, the second stock, I, I made the uh, pockets for the sheaves the same size as I had on the first stock. But I had to make the sheaves larger because the stock was thicker. And it wasn't just the thickness of the stock. The actual top of the spear is a little bit higher. So I had to extend the pockets. I tried using the trusty Farrier's Rasp. But that silver top ash is bloody hard timber and it takes a long, long time just to get a tiny little bit taken off. I ended up using a chisel and that seemed to work okay. In a dry fit, it all seemed to be working pretty well. The sheaves rotated okay. This is not highly precise engineering, but I think it'll function okay. We'll have to wait till we try it in the water, of course. The next steps will be working out how the bridle works and how to tie them onto the rubbers. 